Hey guys, it's Chris Kringle here. I'm back with some more of Conker's Bad Fur Day. Finally, am I right? <laughs> so last time we managed to uh, get the gears working, as said, and uh, got the combination, and the safe is open. So now we can head inside to claim our reward. Hello? Um, hello? Money? Money? <laughs> Sleeping on the job, I see. Who the hell are you? You ain't my boss. I'm out of here. I'm swimming with the fishes. Oh, this gate gets worse and worse by the minute. Tell me about it. All right. Now, before we can go after that, we have a contact sensor that we have to deal with. This is another little puzzle we have to do. We have to. Actually, what do we have to do again? Oh yeah, right. We have to spell out. A uh, word with these letters. We could press B to shoot, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no. B is to cancel. Never mind. It's A, I think. Or is it Z? Might be Z. It is. Okay. And you want to make sure you get the right letters, because uh, if you don't, then. then the, something bad will happen. And unfortunately, I'm a little off with my aiming today. There we go. And I assume with. I probably guess what I'm trying to spell, but oh man, the aiming. I'm way off. It's been a while since I've played. While I'm doing this, uh, I guess I could say like I am. Uh, I do apologize for like the huge break that was between uh, the last episode and this one. How did I not hit that? Oh yeah, this is what happens. Wow, I still got hit by it. Eh. Uh, yeah, that's basically what happens. You don't lose any of your letters, so luckily that's it. But anyway, yeah, I just kind of felt like, I don't know, I kind of just felt like taking a break for a bit from recording, because, um, there's a lot of things that were going on at the time, like, I just got my wisdom teeth pulled out, and I didn't really feel like recording that, I just kind of wanted to rest, and also just some other things going on in my personal life, so, I kind of needed a break, but now, I'm back in full force. How did I not, like, get in trouble for that? I thought I, I swear I hit that T, but... Man, I'm really off with my aiming. I could usually do this way quicker. Damn it. Well, I might as well just sit here and take it. There we go. Alright, well... I'm doing great so far, guys. Oh, that's right there. Come on. Wow, how did I... seriously? There we go. I think it's down here, the other one. No, uh, I almost didn't hit it. Oops. I don't have all day, come on. What? Yeah. Sometimes it's weird, I swear, like, it thinks... I think it either it thinks I'd hit the letter, like, right before it. Or I just hit the wall or something, but I don't get in trouble the other times I hit the wall, so I guess it's weird hit detection, I guess. Yeah, it's way too high. There we go. Come on. I got okay. I got the right sight, so I just need to time it right. What? I swear I hit it, but that was weird. Okay, I was a little late on that one. Again? Really? Wow, I'm off. I usually do this... Aw, oh, damn it, I did it way too early there. If I'm not careful, I'm gonna die. Luckily, I could just exit out in case I do. I'm not sure if it resets my letters if I exit out, but... There we go. Finally. Alright, so after that little bit of contact-sensitive fun, we have another uh, contact-sensitive uh, bit here. Got ourselves a little light in the dark. We gotta go for a swim. Man, it's been a while since I played, so I need to get used to the controls again. Gonna have a fun time with this swimming part. Anyway, so while underwater, 
uh, under this section, we can find like little uh, air pockets around just to refill our air supply. Right there, you see, you want to be careful. There's a guy who will be mighty chomful of... Or what? I don't know. He'll want to take a bite out of you or something. I don't know what I was going with it, but... Where am I going exactly? Oh, here. If I'm not careful, I might run out of air, actually. I should be able to make it, though. Uh, it's gonna be close. There we go. Alright. So now, we need to just head through these tunnels. Because we gotta... Oh, what? Oh, yeah, if I'm not careful, I might die here, actually. I don't even know how I got hurt. Maybe the guy snuck up behind me or something. I'm not sure. But anyway. I don't think there's any health in this area anyway, so... Sucks for me, I guess. We can replenish our uh, flashlight here, so that's good. Now, there's a room with something here. And it's not this one. I think it's through the other one. The blue tunnel. I only have one chocolate bar left, so... I need to be careful not to die here. There we go. Alright, right here. Here's the switch. And that opens a, ga a gate for us somewhere. Let's see now. I don't think we want to go back. Actually, I think we do, because there's... An easier way, an easy way to kind of do this part is that if you look through the tunnels, you notice they're kind of color-coded, so you can kind of just memorize the color-coding. It's like green, blue, green, and then like whatever color comes next. Which will be yellow. What? What the heck? They snuck up behind me or something? That was weird. Well, lucky for me, I get to do this again. So that's great. Man, it's pretty obvious. I haven't played in a while, so... I have to get used to everything again and not suck. Don't bite me, please. Damn it. Sometimes I swear you can sneak around them and... Oh my god, I keep missing these things. Ow! Damn it. My frick I keep getting caught on the wall. Whatever, I'll just keep going. I should be able to make it. But yeah. What was I what was I saying before? Oh yeah, like I kept getting stuck in the walls, like Like it was weird. Anyway. Where's the tunnel? Weird. I don't see the tunnel. Oh, don't tell me this is the weird thing where it's like, because my light's off, I can't see the tunnel. I'm just gonna go this way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I can't find the tunnel. Friggin' lights out, so I can't find it. Oh wait, here it is. Yeah, so I guess that's the thing, like, why it's kind of a good idea to have your light recharged every now and then. Because then, uh... You know. Oh, jeez. Don't die. Come on, Conquer. Yeah, like, once you start running out of air, you do lose chocolate bars. However, it's pretty fast, so it's not like you have, like, a lot of leeway with it. Anyway, I think since... I think the Switch carried over, I think, so I could just head through here now. And it should lead me to the gate that I opened up. Yeah, see, like, sometimes they just snap early, so... I'm not sure what causes it, but... I don't know. Alright. So now we gotta go up. I probably should've got more air out of that, but... Whatever. And yeah, my phone's my phone's going off, damn it. I'm just gonna ignore it because it's not really important right now. Damn it, my light's out again. Ugh, come on. Alright, good, there's another air pocket. Luckily, I don't really need my light for this area, so it's not too big of a deal. Alright, now we're finally out of there. Oh, that's so much fun in freaking swimming water. You can head down here. 
onto a pretty uh, fun and weird part of this game. Stupid imps. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, because they're kind of on fire, you, we can't hurt them. So, what we do? We got to drink up. So, you know, life's uh, parties uh, not or there's not there's no party unless uh, conquers drunk. Pretty much how it goes. Anyway, so now that we're all uh, drunk, if we press B and hold Z, then we can like just do this. <laughs> Ow. I probably should have filled up with health. Just gotta, I think, gotta put them out. Yeah! It's a party now, and get away from me. Yeah, they try and sneak up on you and all that stupid shit, so. You gotta watch out for that. I think you have to kill like eight of them. But I'm not sure. What the heck? How am I missing? There you go. Oh no, get away. Man, I'm getting rid of these guys fast. Alright, there we go. Oh boy. I see what you mean. Talk about balls of steel. Or balls of brass, sorry. Oh no. A bourgeois big ball of spoiler. That's all I need. I love that line. Anyway, so we got a boss fight here. And what we gotta do is lure him over here. And then super jump to the lever. Then dump a load of sewage on him. Then you run up to him. And do your contact sense a bit. Oh, and that's uh, pretty crazy. Hit him right in the sweet spot. And as you can guess, probably from like uh, four corners, you gotta do this uh, three more times. Overall, it's a pretty easy boss. Sometimes he can lose track you pretty easily, which is the only kind of annoying part of this boss, honestly. Yeah, hey, I'm over here, dude. Yeah, whatever, I'll just go to you then. He does have attacks like he can do a charge when you're, uh... Oh, wow, he dodged it. Just freaking get hit by it, please. There we go. And he also does the, yeah, he was about to do a flamethrower. You just be mindful of that, but it's not too bad. It's pretty easy to dodge. It's a pretty weird boss, to say the least. Man, are you coming? Dude, I'm over here. Yeah, whatever, I'll just go over here, I guess. Uh, 
I sometimes like doing the cool thing where like when I super jump up to the lever, I sometimes like to just like time it perfectly with the flying coaster so I barely dodge it. Although sometimes it can still clip you with it. And other times I find that I get like invincibility frames occasionally from it. I'm not sure the exact timings for it sometimes for that to happen, but Come on, dude. I'm all right here. You just have to be kind of mindful of this, right? Oh yeah, this. Yeah, you can't use the same one more than once. Oh damn it! I think this one has. Yeah, this one has a lever. This should be the last one. Uh, the time to do the contact sensitive bit decreases over time, so you don't have all the time in the world to do it. So you gotta do it kind of quickly. And that's it. But um, tish. <laughs> Has a self-destruct button. Didn't think a boiler would have that, but hey, you never know. That's the end of that guy. And you don't have to kill these imps, so you can just ignore them. What we gotta do now to get out of here is uh push uh, his uh, brass balls over here. There's a pressure piece here. Then get ow, and then get the other one. My tail's on fire! Ow, okay. I'm getting really annoyed with you guys. I just, yeah. Just back off for a sec so I could... And just gotta push this one down here. And now we have our way out. Let's get out of here. And claim our fortune. There's the money we sought so uh, so much after. Or whatever, I said that wrong. So, you want some great stuff? Yes, please. Yeah, cash. Now, something with this is that if you notice, like on all the hundred, uh, the money we've gotten, we've got just a hundred from each one, because it has like tens on the outside. But for this one, if you look closely, you could have seen that there is one on the outside, because we just got ten for that. Yeah, we kind of got gypped. I say we uh, talk to these cat ladies and oh, give her a piece of our mind. Yeah, see, if you look closely there, you can see it's one, uh, one on the outside. What? A dollar? Yes, yes. No, can be said as we agreed. Yeah. One, two, three, ten. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? I thought you said it was a fortune. It is a fortune. <laughs> I'll tell you what, here's a new deal. I keep the lot. See ya! Sounds good to me. Chink! Just, just a minute here, you... Well, you, like, chip me out of my money, so... <laughs> screw you. Oh, um, ladies, never mind the money for now. I think it's time we were off. Tell you who? Of course they leave. All right. Oops. I say we get out of here as well. Out of this uh, gasoline-ridden uh, lake. And he's free. All right. So to successfully get away from him, you want to lure him to the catfishes. And Jaws reference. The guy's actually pretty fast, so it's usually the best idea to just lure him over to the catfishes. 
get too busy gnawing on them. Usually... Ow, damn it. I'm not sure why I'm moving so slow. Damn it. Why am I so bad all of a sudden? Eat the cat lady. Very right, good. What? How'd you... Okay, good. Ah, uh, man. That's the closest I've ever gone to actually losing that. I've never actually lost that part, but... Man, I don't know why. I was playing so bad today. Jeez, run, conquer. This guy's huge. It's a face full of wall right there. I need some health. Now, I like how his tail just continuously wags. It's, it's kind of cool. So now, what do you say we claim that real fortune, guys? Yo, you want some great stuff? I told you before, I want all of you. Like, freaking sure. get over here. I'll be able to get rid of my mortgage and buy my car. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Alright. So, we got our fortune. We got 300 right there. And so we got a total of... $1,110. Still not enough to pay that barrel. So we gotta get some more money somehow. Now before I end this part, I'm gonna do uh, one more small thing that I haven't done yet. I'm going to over here to uh, I think the quickest way will just be go the regular pathway I guess and yeah I mean, there's uh some money we can get over by the uh, wasp nest luckily it's pretty easy to get I'm not sure exactly what point you're able to get it. it's not like right away you have to like wait or something, but I usually just get around this time, so I guess around this time you can get this. So don't go through that end. You want to jump up here, then jump up here. There's the money. Hey, where the f you been, you ginger bastard? Damn, you're so mean. I got here as fast as I could, okay? I just took a break from recording, so sorry about that. Alright. I think that I'll call a wraps for this part today. Uh, we did quite a bit. We stopped a, like, a, a boss with balls of brass. Like, dro <laughs> he literally dropped his balls. Uh... And we got those fish ladies, catfishes came what, they got what was coming to them. Sorry, I can't English today. And I think next part, you guys probably know what's coming up because I've been putting it off for a little bit. Uh, we're going to probably the most, uh, area, the area that you guys are most looking forward to probably. See you guys then.